Hey guys, how you doing? So everybody said we want to see you live. So I kind of figured out that, you know, I've been torturing myself a bit too much for nothing. So I'm out today drinking some sangria. Cheers. So what's up? It's been crazy, as you know. You know, living with duplicates and trolls was never simple. It's a tough task to kind of accept people who think they are you. It's kind of crazy also, actually. Guys, do you like this uh, sambal cheese? Have you guys ever tried it? The chili sambal cheese, it's amazing. Mm. Perfect condiment for a glass of sangria. What am I ranting about today? Nothing at all. No one rant about anything besides the fact that how difficult it has been for me to live with trolls. How very difficult. Unimaginably difficult. Just because I'm talented, I'm harmless and I'm sweet, do I have to live with trolls? Doesn't that just suck it the life out of me? So how am I supposed to accept this ugly truth? that uh, you're going to have to live with trolls. You're going to have doors banging next to you. Okay, guys, I need to tell you this. Do you guys know what's fear psychosis? Fear psychosis? Fear psychosis is when somebody is trying to put a trigger into your head, is trying to plant a trigger into your head to evoke a certain emotion. Okay, so it's like Pooja Bedi went around planting in everybody's head Pooja Mishra is crazy and Pooja Mishra is this and Pooja Mishra is that because she had been paid to do so. She had been paid to use colors and Big Boss 5 as a platform to show Pooja Mishra is crazy. She had taken money for that in cash or in kind. It was either sex or it was money. In any case, coming back to that. Hey guys, how do you like my little thing here? You know, I bought it a long time ago. I've got these really pretty earrings with it too. Do you see? Pretty, isn't it? So I got it a long time ago, but all dolled up, but nowhere to go. Just like how they want me in the bottle, bottled up with the genie. So it was lying uh, totally unattended to and in its wrapping in Pune, so I decided to get it along and wear it, you know, live my life, wear your jewelry, be who you are, enough of being bottled up, be who you are and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. So as you saw, Pooja Bedi was planting thoughts in people's mind that Pooja Mishra is psycho or whatever and then after that, similarly, the three houses that I stayed in, which ones? In the 90 days in Mumbai, Varsova, Khar, Wali. Right? So, all the time they used to come there and bang the door next, next door, the neighbor. They used to come and bang the door. You know, to create a trigger of fear psychosis in my head. That the moment I hear banging doors, I think somebody's coming to rape me. Or that crazy person who leaves all this crazy shit into me is gonna come and get me. You see how they create triggers in your head for you to have fear, psychos uh, fear psychosis, you know. And there's something I wanted to reveal on this live because it's not working. Hello? Not working. Not working. So are you here? Ya mar ke nikalum. Hot! Enough. Okay, now let me get to your comments. If any decent ones are worth reading, that is. Havada has joined us. Okay. 
पूजा ओ माई गॉड आई लव यू ओके I look amazing. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Who am I with? With myself. I don't need anybody. Me and my chili cheese and my sangria. I know. And even if I was here with somebody, you think I would tell you? Keep fishing. waiting for you you look beautiful and stunning oh thank you where are you today i'm in i'm at a lounge i went to attend a play recitation a lot of people there a lot of nice people who i used to kind of rush against in the past like my friend um Cyrus Brocha and then there was Mr. Anil Dharkar who I know for a while and then there was uh, Javed Akhtar ji and Shabana Azmi too so I met all these people there and then I decided that I needed an, um, a drink actually just a sangria because I have to travel later tonight I'm going back to Pune yeah. so I just dropped in and i got myself some sangria and i can't have sangria just sangria i need some cheese i you know i like the condiments some olives some walnuts or whatever so that's it then i thought that i'll do a live because i got a lot of uh, direct messages that pooja want to coming live so i said okay let's do a live so i thought that i would invite you all to join me with my evening and that's why i came live Would you look so pretty? Thank you. Period queen. Really? Okay. You got money for this? Some some days back you didn't have money to eat. Well, yeah, actually, it was that condition and that's why I left Bombay because they were harrowing me. It wasn't about me not having enough money. It was just that at that time they were sucking and uh uh, uh it out of me. as in how do i explain it duping me of money duping me of money do you get that yes and at that time i really did not have money and also going out and partying wasn't such a priority now i do realize that you live only once so please go out have some fun live your life you're a fighter puja that's right you look good today thank you Nice necklace. Oh, thank you. People have no other work than to defame you. Well, apparently, apparently they don't have anything better to do because you know. You've seen how many defamatory videos have they, uh, you know, sort of floated around uh, YouTube, and you've seen how they've done tricky things in making me use abusive language and look stupid and look silly. So apparently they don't have anything better to do than to defame me. I don't know why do they have to hate such a lovable person with so much of vengeance when I'm the sweetest thing and I know it, and the people who know me know it. So then I don't know why do I have to be at the receiving end of so much of uncall for wrath i i i would imagine i'm just really extraordinary you know and uh, the jealousy and the envy triggers from that that's how they want to keep me ordinary and that's how they want to defame me and it's all so fucked up that it's high court cases which are still running in the bombay high court i hope that sums it up 
looking good today awesome jewelry good to see you enjoying be positive like this thank you darling thank you sending love from pakistan who just stop these fake stories excuse me hello watch it i don't lie that's one thing i don't know how to do and that's why the people who love me love me okay nickel 1409 Pooja, are the gents ever friendly? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, but most of the times they are weird. Jined Malik, Jined Malik Star, ma'am, please mention my name. Sending love from Pakistan. Okay. Your necklace is beautiful. Thank you. People have no other work. Well, apparently not. I think I'm going to block Debs because she's got like always such a sarcastic and such a vitriolic uh, outlook to my posts and to my personality. I'm absolutely not tipsy and I'm absolutely not slurring. I'm absolutely not drunk. And this is sangria, which is lighter than red wine too. So it has. close to nothing alcohol uh, in it so i don't know where are you imagining things deeps are you sure that the gents are not catching up on youtube like kindly go and get a rukia done and then join us on the live bye uja you add, you you add said you will tell about how your mom tortures you oh yeah kimro that that's true my mom like i need to tell you guys okay so we drove into a new city like a couple of days back my mom my brother and i okay in the car that my dad has left behind for all of us she drops me off with a huge bag this is now you take care of yourself while she enjoyed the luxury of the house my dad has left behind for all of us the car he's left behind for all of us the chauffeur is left behind for all of us So she's just a hoarder, like a really sorry hoarder, you know. And like she doesn't want to part with any money. She doesn't want to part with any of the luxuries that my dad has uh, left for all of us. She just wants to singularly hoard on it with my brother. You know, my brother and she. And it's the spell. They just don't care about me. And I was crying. I was in tears. I was like. You get me here, and then you just drop me off, and then you tell me that now from here onwards you manage on your own. I mean, how responsible is that? My dad, I know for one, was a responsible man. If you're driving in together, you'll take care of me the rest of the journey, the rest of the trip. You're not bothered. You just go and perch up in the family apartment where I'm not allowed to stay. Yes, we were in Bombay. So. Um, You go and put yourself up in the family apartment. You go and uh, 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 you know zip around in the family uh, pajero with the chauffeur, and you leave me on the streets to die with a huge fucking 15 kg bag, which I can hardly pick up, considering I went for rukia. And after the rukia, I was so lifeless I could hardly walk. I had no life left in me. I was fainting. After the rukia, I had to eat some food to actually pick my body up and stand up. Do you guys know that? I was that sick. So just see, just see what they're doing to me and how they're treating me. And somebody sent me a DM today that you know these people have not only fucked with you but they've also taken your mom on their side. They're absolutely right. They've pulled my family towards them. They've ostracized me. They've downmarketed me. That you all have seen. You know that juice ka mood mood ka pani. What the fuck was that? This is who I am. This is who I always was, and they can't seem to digest it, and that's why they do all these tricky things to me. So that's that. So yeah, that's how my mother tortures me. Something that's been left for everyone, she wants to hold on it. It's only mine. It's only mine. 
you can't enter the apartment ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. go week you no tell booking and fuck out of here and i'll not even refund you or reimburse you your hotel bill go travel in rickshaws go travel in cabs well i zip around you know in in the family car literally be ostracized to feel like i'm nobody my family is not mine my body is not mine my brain is not mine nothing is mine it all belongs in slavery and servitude and only a fucking bitch is supposed to hoard and it's not only her you do know who else has been hoarding on me mooching off me and i've provided that with evidence so there you go puja when is the srk movie launch well you ask him that ask him that leave comments on his post and ask him that he should be in a better position to talk about it as you can see our countdown uh, reached the midpoint yesterday with zero days left now we are you know going in negative negative in the sense grace time they say or grace period grace period so that's what's going on yeah Pooja, you look sexy. Thank you. Pooja, did YRF contact you? Well, not as yet. Not as yet. Not as yet. Pooja, did you see the bang is getting longer to shoot? Taking longer to shoot? No, they have. I think a release date, so they have to shoot it uh, fast and uh, you know so that it can be released by then. You know, post production takes a lot of time. even if you get an online editor do you guys know what online editors are they're like editors who are sitting there with their laptops editing your movie while it's being shot and at the end of the day of the shot you have all the scenes you shot that day roughly edited so that when you go back in the editing suite i'm talking about the director that is when he goes back in the editing suite at least he has a rough cut ready already So I don't know if they're online editing, but like I know the traditional uh, period uh, uh, it takes for uh, mainstream uh, Bollywood films to sort of uh, get the post production together. And I just feel that uh, I don't know. Let's wait and watch. Pooja, you look like a glamorous star today. Oh, really? Thank you. Don't make fun of others' names. Have you seen your face? I don't know who the fuck is this, but he needs to get out of my chat. Ma'am, say my name. I'm Lakshya Shri Mali. Okay. Love, 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 love from Pakistan. <laughs> Ma'am, I cried when you were eliminated from Big Boss, and song was playing Rangila Re. You were my favorite. Thanks, Sanjeev J Singh. Thank you so much for your kind thoughts and your kind words. It makes me feel awesome that at least somebody who watched me on the show actually liked me so much and still remembers me and shed tears when I was eliminated. So, thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Where did the gin go? Well, I tried my best to kick it out of me.
Pooja, you look stunning as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pooja, you're going to go back to Mumbai because Shatru and gang must be happy to send you back to Pune. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I don't need to become a producer. I already am. From nine years, I've been making TV shows and web series. Of course, they were anchor-based web series. Now I'm venturing into, uh, you know, fictional web series. Okay. Uja, when is your SRK? movie with YRF being launched. Your countdown is over. No, the countdown is not over. Countdown is absolutely not over, Kimro. We're going in reverse. In the sense, we, uh, you know, I don't know how well do you all know mathematics. But after zero comes negative one, negative two, negative three. So we are on that tangent as of now. I hope you get my drift. Pooja, you should totally walk the ramp in this outfit. Thank you so much, my darling. Thank you. I probably should. I suppose we're going to the fashion week yesterday and then it all got delayed and as always, I've didn't manage to land up there. I was the last day. So Nakshi Sinha says that she likes you. Really? And I always had a feeling she had a bit of bisexual tendencies. If she likes me, then please tell her not to troll me and irritate me to begin with. That's all. Pooja, you're the sweetest thing on the face of this earth. Oh, thank you. Would you like to produce a web series? Yes. Working on that. You're looking sweet 16. Thank you. Pooja, my name is Ananthu. I really aspire to be like you. I would like to ask you, how do you deal with people like Poonam? Don't ask. You know, my dad used to say, my dad used to say, Beta, to survive in life, you need to have a thick skin, a, a strong shock absorber, you know? And I am an overtly emotional, overtly sensitive kind of a person, overtly, like more than normal, more than normal. So I guess I just need to sharpen my shock absorber and my tolerance level, which I have none of left, very honestly, by now. So that's why um, I guess I could, whatever was transpiring around me, I could tolerate it, but yeah, it's anything but easy. You're too hot, hotter than Malaika Arora Khan. Oh really? Didn't you see my Lakme Fashion Week showstopper throwback yesterday on my social media, Instagram live? Been there, done that, darling. Moving on. Amitabh Bachani also feeling left out as you only take Shatrugan Sinha's name. <laughs> Crazy you guys are. 
Is the gin on a date with you? Not really. I tried to remove it as much as I could. Like, I really tried hard. I hope it went away, <laughs> you know. Abhi Sharma Abhishek says, sending love from Jaipur. Well, send me tickets instead. Wouldn't it be nice to go spying on these two assholes together and making their life miserable the way they've made mine? <laughs> You are an amazing soul. Love from Qatar. All right, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Don't get bugged by people. Yeah, I know. I'm oversensitive and I'm overreactive sometimes. You know, I shouldn't be reacting so much. But I do, you know, because it's like they've made me really lonely all these years. So whenever people talk to me, you know, uh, and they try to uh, sort of... Uh, attack me or trigger me into doing something. Previously, I was a, probably more reactive. Today, I'm a little bit more contained and all of that. But uh, yeah, you're right. Don't get bugged by people. I know you need a very high tolerance level, a very strong belief in self that, you know, to tolerate such fucking uh, pests. Have you ever considered becoming the PM of India? Oh, really? <laughs> what will happen to Narendra Modi ji then? And the state of Gujarat? I like just the whole look and the smile you're wearing on it. Oh, cool. Thank you. Your English, Ishan Pathan. You're an amazing person by heart, so never abuse or abuse even your family. But then they're extra mean to me, haven't you seen? Ridiculously mean to me. So then if I don't speak up, it boils up inside me and let it boil and spoil my health. Makes more sense for me to speak up, right? better for my health. So I speak up. Puja, was the Rukia successful? Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, but this session was a bad one. Bad one. It is sort of expensive, yeah. If you get it done every week, then it's kind of, yeah. It does burn a hole in your wallet. Is your brother also like your mom? Well, yes, because uh, he's conditioned by her. And was very intelligent, very sweet boy, my little brother. I used to clean his poo-poo, you know. Uh, I used to clean his nappies. But today he... Like, bullies me, abuses me, kicks me around, doesn't respect me. It brings tears to my eyes. But facts are facts. He's been conditioned by my mother and that's how he behaves in a weird man. When are you going back to Pune again? This lifestyle suits you so much better. You look happy too. Why are you going back to Pune? Okay, there. Yeah, because like, you know, you know how tough they made it for me to stay in Bombay. I can't stay in my own house. And I'm tired of renting a new place every, every, uh, you know, it's like three, uh, three months, three different houses. I'm tired of that. Like, really tired of that. Hi Pooja, lots of love from Dubai, Raheel Sheikh. Pooja, did Malaika again disturb in your hotel room? Yeah, like they were banging the door. They were banging the door again and again. I told you that fear psychosis, they're trying to do that to me.
Tasmina Sheikh is getting seizures. She's telling me to apply for a vacancy of a watchman in her building. Pooja, tell us more about Sifli and Agod Vidya. Hmm. Let me discover enough of it to tell you guys more. Pooja, I aspire to be like you. You are my idol. I just want to know how you deal with people like Poona. Tell us stop. Would you tell us more about Say Your Name Challenge that uh, and SRK supporting you in it? Oh yes, that was so amazing. So like I put up this Say My Name Challenge and nobody had like done anything about it. And then I just suddenly see this trailer on SRK's handle. And there he is, you know, saying it the way it is. He picks up the phone and he says that uh, Pooja, yeah Pooja, this, that, you are my manager. And then he says, huh? Agar tum Pooja ho, तो ये यहाँ पर सेट पे कौन है? वो भी तो पूजा ही है ना? ऐसा डैट सेट, हीज वन इट, हीज वन इट, एंड आई डिक्लेयर्ड इन द विनर ऑफ से माय नेम चैलेंज, बिकॉज़ ही वाज वेरी शार्प, एंड ही लिटरली नैब द आईडेंटिटी थ्रेट, आईडेंटिटी थेफ्ट एक्चुअली not threat, identity theft that these people have been indulging in for not one year, not two years, not three years, not four years, not five years, but freaking 15 years. Yeah, hello, 2005, we're living in 2020 almost. Can we just change a couple of things, a couple of perceptions of how we should conduct ourselves? So yeah, so I made him the winner. And another one of his trailers that I love. Uh, he was talking on the phone. Ha, meri bandhuk mere paas hai. Mera red light mere paas hai. Uh, par kaise? Yahan par to already koi hai. That was so cute. Just the, just the trailer, of course. I did get to know that later when he unmasked, it was Imran Hashmi. And it was a comical thing. But just the trailer was so nice, you know. Ne, ne, but yahan par to... Uh, Already koi hai? Very sweet. Pooja, you look so pretty. It's so good to see you smiling. You look beautiful when you smile. Keep smiling. Thank you, darling. This year the BB ban will be over. Would you consider going to Habro? Uh, uh, would you consider going to BB house next year in the in this stunning avatar? We would root for you again. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they call me and they give me a good deal. I think about it. Won't they put gin again, so wouldn't your rukia go waste? Well, it's been going waste for three to four sessions already. So the thing is that, you know, it is so freaky. You know, people fuck with your mind. People fuck with your body. But somebody here is fucking with my soul. So, it's tough. But then nonetheless, it's like... Uh, nothing is impossible and you just don't have to feel defeated you have to just keep at it so I keep on going and getting myself cleansed the more you put the wall removed the more you put the wall removed you know that kind of a scenario but then it's a proper detox a proper cleanse of my soul because it's like you fuck with everything in life don't fuck with somebody's soul because we all have been like given one soul when we are born and then you put all these devils in me for whatever reasons you know, we need to sort of cleanse them out and get our priorities right. What are you eating? I was, e I was eating uh, uh, chili sambal uh, cheese. I love cheese and sangria. So.
counting down the days, they're long overdue, you bet. Till what negative number are you going? Till I don't hear from them. We'll keep counting down every day till we hear from them. That's an optimism and uh, never say die attitude in life. Guys, we are counting the days. They're overdue. Habro. Pooja, something is stuck in your teeth. Really? Mm. Okay, guys. So, in any case, I gotta go. Because it's like, you know, I've been talking for way too long. I'm in a public place. So, I'm gonna run now. And I'll catch you guys soon. Alright? Take care. Have fun. And next time, please do join me here. <laughs> See you.